Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in Blackpool, and check it out, I'm in a bit of a park here, yeah? This is actually um, a park that's not too far away from Blackpool Promenade, it's called Flagstaff Gardens, and I'm at Ginn Square, yeah, it's a bit breezy, but is this the calm before the storm? We've got a storm coming in tonight, yeah, Storm Lillian, yeah, they reckon it's going to be winds gusting to 70 miles an hour tonight yeah we've got a yellow weather warning for winds over well, most of the northern part of the country actually uk and scotland just over here is warbreck road and just at the side of the road is another garden area yeah i've not actually featured these very much so we'll take a look over there so this is flagstaff gardens here and we've actually got a flagstaff right there I wonder what that's off. Is it off a boat or something, or is it just made up for the park? I don't know. To check it out. Anyway, yeah, so just over there is Ginn Gardens. Let's go and take a little look over there, and then we'll head to the promenade, and we'll see what it's like, see what the sea's like. Is it getting a bit rough? Is it the warm-up before the big event tonight? Yeah, the Storm Lillian is on the way. Well, some trees can thrive in Blackpool, near the promenade, but uh, not this one. <laughs> yeah, so this is Flagstaff Gardens, check it out. Yeah, we've got a whole load of hotels up there. Just over here, we've got the Savoy Hotel, of course. A very well-known hotel here in Blackpool. This is the Flagstaff here, look. There you go, yeah. Got a bit of a mosaic down here as well. Uh, what does that say? Blackpool. Can't quite read that. Looks a bit like rock. Yeah. Check it out. It's not a bad little space, actually. A lot of people come in here to walk the dogs. It's all fenced off as well. Some quite nice looking sort of apart hotels up there as well. So I'll give you a look round. Here we go. And then we'll have a little look over the road and I'll show you that over the road. I think it's called Ginn Gardens. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Yeah, this road is so busy. Yeah, we're looking towards the Spitfires just up there in the roundabout. The Spitfires are there, ready for the Blackpool Illuminations. But let's have a little look in here, shall we? I don't think that I have ever been in here on the channel. But look at this, isn't it swanky? I think it's called Ginn Gardens. I didn't see a sign when I walked in. It's, it's like a sunken garden as well, look. Because as you can see, all the streets that go round, all these streets up here, like are actually going uphill all the way around. Look at that. I'm quite impressed, really. Look, look up there, look. Wow. Kids play area over there in the distance, I won't go anywhere near that and just up this way obviously we've got the Ginn pub that goes back a long way with the pub there was a pub here in the very early days of Blackpool called the Ginn bit of a saddlery really you know there's up pictures of it well I don't know if there's photographs of it but there's certainly drawing paintings of it with horses parked outside so it goes to show how long how long ago the Ginn has been here. Is there a pond up here? Ah, I don't know actually. It winds around quite a bit, this path, you know. I will be heading to the promenade in a second, but we're just checking out to, uh, hey, I tell you what, there's quite a lot to this place. Look at this. Wow, we can get lost in here. I'm just at the other side now, looking back on where I started, right over there at Flagstaff Gardens. I'll tell you what, this is quite a big area, you know. Yeah, and I'm now at this road here called Finchley Road. And uh, is that a hotel over there? It says the Beer Wing. Didn't really look open to me. It looks like those blinds could do with a bit of a, a, bit of a clean anyway. But uh, anyway, I'm going to head out of here now and we'll head back to the uh, promenade and see what it's like, see what the Irish Sea is like. You know, Blackpool is a pretty flat place, really. 
on the whole but there are some hills and uh, this area here is quite hilly yeah we're right at the foot here of Knoll Hill Knoll Hill is where the water tower is so if you go down here and turn right and go all the way up Warbreck Road you'll get to the top of Knoll Hill and you'll see the water tower but I'm heading towards the promenade now let's go and see how rough this is Hello, someone's lost a, a box of a box of Carling. Carling Black Label. You know, I was watching a video the other day about Carling Black Label. They reckon it was Canadian. They said it was Canadian lager, yeah. Didn't know that. And they dropped the black label. Yeah, name. Just called Carling now. Now there's again. Pretty busy. This is Dixon Road. This leads all the way up to, well, North Station, the new tram stop, Mark Alley's. Let's head over here, shall we? I can feel the wind. So here's a proper look at the Gin Square roundabout with the Spitfires, sponsored by Airfix as well. There you go. Yep. And they're going to be lit up during the illuminations. Here's a look up the tram tracks, right up the hill towards the cabin left. I might head up that way. But I'm just going to head over here to this lookout point here. Oh, I can feel the wind now. It's warming up. Storm Lillian is coming. Look at this. Whoa. The only thing is, when Storm Lillian comes in, it actually comes in around about, well, the, the worst of the winds are going to be at around about 6 to 7 o'clock on Friday morning, but that sort of coincides with a lower tide. So, in a way, that's quite lucky, because if, if the 70 mile an hour gust co coincided with what's going to be like a 9 metre tide, then that could be problems. Yeah. So there you go, this is how it looks from here at Gin Square. Let's have a look up this way towards the cabin. I'm going to head up that way actually, I want to have a look up. I can't see it, I can't see the Lake District. But I can certainly feel the, the, the wind, yeah. It feels, it feels quite good actually, yeah. All aboard the Blackpool tram for North Station. Yeah, that one's heading to North Station, that one there. And we're now just outside. Hey, I'll tell you what, we're spoilt for gardens around here, aren't we? This is Jubilee Gardens, yeah? There's plenty of garden areas around here. Yeah, so we can certainly feel the wind. You know what grows really well? These things here, look, these fern, I can't remember the name of them. But they grow really, really well. And while I'm up here, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. There was a big hotel up here that was knocked down. It was called the New Hackett's. It was the one that sat on fire. And uh, a few people have been asking about it, what's happening with the site. So while we're up here, we'll have a little look at that, shall we? Can you see Blackpool Tower all the way down there? Anyway, we're now up from the Savoy. We're just across from the Maples Hotel. The Granada Apartments over there very swanky apartments I'll put a link to them in the description if you're interested in an apart hotel but here is the space where the new Hackett's hotel was and as you can see well it's been used as a bit of a car park at the moment or van park there's also an advertising van for Mark Kelly's there there's a guy working on a on a a van at the back, it's not really the best view is it, if you're staying at the cliffs, is it? <laughs> looking out onto that, it's like looking out onto a, to a scrapyard almost, isn't it? <laughs> but there's the Cliffs Hotel, and we are climbing the hill towards a cabin lift. Well I can certainly feel the wind now, I'm quite a bit higher up than when I started, I'm now stood on these rocks here. Check it, just look at that. That looks absolutely epic. Wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool 
right now taking in this sea breeze but unfortunately the beer monsters they get everywhere don't they yeah the beer monsters making a bit of a mess around here just over here we've got the go-kart trap that used to be the boating pool back in the olden days and there's the cabin lift there great two listed let's head over there shall we are they going to fix it it is part of the plan you know you know the middle walk the work they're doing on middle walk that's all of this area all of the north promenade is all part of this big plan to uh, to repair it bring it back oh look another beer monster there look kind of carly what are they like these beer monsters and if you're not a fan of the golden mile the brash golden mile you might say a little bit tacky you can come up here it's a different part of Blackpool but they do have a Mark Kelly's <laughs> you can't get away from Mark Kelly's here in Blackpool next to the Doric and the Sheraton Hotel right there oh sun's coming out nicely well we're now looking straight down Noel Avenue towards the water tower look at that Noel Avenue Noel Hill and it looks like we're almost level with it from here how about that wow all aboard for Fleetwood Ferry. Check it out on the, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Drown that one there, yeah? Anyway, I'm at the cabin lift. Check it out. Turn it around. There you go. Look at that. Can we have a look through the letterbox? Can you see anything? Can you see anything? Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? The cabin lift. So there you go, that was Blackpool. Not quite the calm before the storm because it's starting to get going right now, yeah. So, and like I said before, the main part of the storm with the 70 mile an hour gust is going to happen at a low tide. So, there shouldn't be any flooding, so hopefully we'll be alright. And anyway, Blackpool has survived plenty of storms in the past, so we'll be alright, we'll get over it. So that's it for this video, I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos, and I'll see you again on the next one.